Afternoon. Listen, the reason I had you stop was because you had a tail light out. Now, yeah. have you happen to have your driver's license, registration, and insurance with you? Yes. There you go. Okay, great. Okay, ma'am, listen, yeah. I can smell some alcohol coming from the vehicle. Um, how much have you had to drink today? Uh, I just had a glass of wine at din with dinner. One glass of wine yeah. with dinner? Yeah. Okay. Listen, I'm going to ask you to safely step out of your vehicle, come around to the back of your car, okay? I've got some questions I need to ask you. Jennifer, how are you? Um, well, I've been better. <laughs> um, um, last night, I went out uh, you know, after work, a couple other friends, drivers. Yeah. We had uh, we had a glass of wine, you know, hung out. Um, anyway, I left, I had to go home, and and I got pulled over because I had a, had a bad tail light, and, and so I got I got pulled over for that, and mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. And I got a DUI. But he pulled me, he, he didn't pull me, I wasn't reckless driving, I wasn't doing any, you know, I just had a bad tail light. Ah, oh, Jennifer. Um. Did he arrest you and take you to jail? Yeah. And you surrendered your license to him when mm -hmm. you got to jail? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it was fine, it was a fraction, it was a fraction over the limit. I didn't, it was, I mean, I got pulled over for a tail light. I didn't get pulled over because I was speeding. I didn't get pulled over because I was, you know, reckless driving. It was a tail light. Okay. Um, <coughs> you need to understand that by surrendering that license, according to law, um, you now no longer have a commercial driver's license, nor do you have a school bus certificate which means you can't drive a school bus. Um, you have a year from your court date before you can apply for your commercial driver's license again, and you have three years from that date before you can apply for a certificate to drive a school bus. From this point until then, you'll be placed on administrative leave through this district. 
Um, we have a zero tolerance policy for DUIs. You will be paid until your court date because we still believe you're innocent until proven guilty, but we also know that you will be convicted. At that point in time, you need to understand you will lose your job with this district. And you need to prepare yourself too. Whether or not you hire an attorney to help you, this incident will cost you between five and eight thousand dollars in this state by the time you pay all the fees, court costs, community service, everything that you need to do. And unfortunately, there's nothing I can do for you. I'm sorry. Tough lesson. <laughs> I'll say. I mean, it was like tail light. That's why I got pulled over, a tail light. Ordinarily, a first DUI, as serious as it is, won't carry such dire consequences. However, keep in mind that the law for the general public and the law for drivers of commercial vehicles that carry passengers are totally different. School bus drivers need to understand that any time they receive a DUI, even when they are off duty, their commercial driver's license will be terminated. 